more you know you have the keywords and phrases in there, also the more you can track that. So this is the one for Acton School of Business. Located in Austin, Texas, the Acton School of Business is a one-year MBA. One-year MBA is a key phrase for them. Their entrepreneurial school, Austin, Texas, all of those are key phrases. They even mention how they've been named by Entrepreneur Magazine as one of the top 15 MBA programs. All of this is keyword rich that helps their credibility, their visibility, and their sellability. How do you get your press releases out in the World Wide Web? One, you put it on your press page. Two, you may repurpose it and put it on your blog. You may email it to your customer base. You may print it out and send it to people. But what you can do online is you can use a service called Press Release Point, and I believe it's 30 to $50. And for that small amount of money, it will distribute your press release to over 50 of the free PR websites. The reason you pay to be on these free websites is because instead of sitting at your computer and hand submitting to 50 plus free PR websites, you can pay basically a buck a submission and get your press release out. And this is a tool that you can use to to help amplify your marketing message. Or if you want to start small, you can go directly to free PR sites like PRLog.com and you can get distributed in their free news directories. Everyone's going to have a different approach. It's my job to present the different options. Online video is also a way to boost your credibility, visibility, and sellability. This is MobiSip. MobiSip provides the most dynamic content filtering service. Parents and educators trust MobiSip to enable mobile learning. If your children or teens are using an iPad or an iPhone or um, any of those devices, what happens is your mobile kids are using mobile devices, and to make sure they're browsing the web safely and securely, MobiSip comes into play. Well, MobiSip's dynamic content filtering allows you to do things like if your child's on YouTube, you can drill down one level deeper and say, yes, my child can be on YouTube, but they can't see these certain types of content. MobiSip uses YouTube, and they create content that shows their customers how to use their technology. It's great for customer service. It's great for prospective customers. It's great for search visibility, and it's really a value-rich service. So online video is one more way you can use content. Blogs. There's a webinar in this series dedicated to the six secrets to blogging success. This is an entrepreneurial blog called SheBrand to build your buzz. And what Liz Sanders, the founder of SheBrand does, is she creates really valuable content to serve her customers. And she also interviews other role models that inspire the people she serves. And what she does is she sends the people she's interviewing a checklist of questions. This is what is called user-generated content meaning that Lisa Mannion typed up her answers, she sent them to SheBrand with her beautiful photo, and copy-paste, voila, Insta content. As business owners, we have to run our business, right? We're busy. What we can do is we can create templates, and we can have folks help create content for us. For my blog, the Web Marketing Therapy blog, I have 10 writers who contribute to the blog, so I'm not responsible day in and day out for all the content. I have other people on the team contributing to the overall end content result. One thing you can do is you can do interviews, but blogs are another way to position yourself as the expert that you are. And there's also social media press release distribution tools. This is pitchengine.com for free. You can distribute your press releases. They stay online for two weeks, and if you'd like to pay a premium, your press releases can live online the entire time. But your press releases go on Pitch Engine, just like what we saw on the PR websites and the free press release distribution tools. But the social media press release distribution tool has little widgets at the bottom. So if you like the press release, you can Facebook it, send it to Twitter, LinkedIn, et cetera, et cetera. And it's more of a new rules, social marketing way to get the word out. And it's just one other thing you can test. Blog Talk Radio is podcasting. This is another way that you can boost your credibility and visibility and good customer service, which also helps your sellability. Anne Levine is a law school expert, and she does a blog talk radio show, and she interviews sometimes students, experts in the law school space, and they're short shows, 15 minutes. Blog Talk Radio, there's free services you can take advantage of as entrepreneurs. They also have paid services, and those are usually, they 
you know, allow more advanced features and technologies. As a small business owner advising small business owners, my advice to you is start with the free stuff, see how it goes, and build. But Anne shows fantastic. She brings interesting guests on, she shares her expertise, and it's one more piece of her online marketing puzzle. And it ties in directly to her book, The Law School Admissions Game, which is a top seller on Amazon.com. What you can do is take your expertise, what is in your brain, and share it as content. These article distribution sites, document sharing sites, there's even how-to sites like eHow.com. You can do how to avoid um, getting in trouble with the IRS if you're delinquent on your taxes. Whatever your business is, these how-to sites give you free access to post your expertise, which ultimately can drive traffic back to your website and uh, the press release distributions as well. So the more relevant and timely your articles are, your stories are, the more likely these are to be picked up and shared for syndication. For press releases, you'd like to make sure that they're interesting and compelling. And as long as there's value to the content, it's going to work for you over and over again. The beauty of the World Wide Web is that it's just that. It's a web. It's not the World Wide Poll. It doesn't just go up and down. It's interrelated. It's interwoven. And other pieces of online marketing support other pieces of online marketing. So your blog may have a great article on it. That article can get repurposed to an article marketing site, could maybe get repurposed into a press release. Let's say a popular podcast show on Blog Talk Radio, that could get transcribed into a blog post. Use what you have to get what you want. You don't have to reinvent the wheel over and over and over again. You can have one piece of content re, you know, configured into different types of mediums to consistently drive home your message and serve your customers because the reality is, and this is the marketing therapist talking, our egos as business owners tend to think that people see things. Well, they don't. They're busy. If it's on the podcast, they may not see it, but they may see it on your email. They may see it on an article site. People who you don't even know are going to become your customers may be searching on Google or Yahoo for your content or for your products, services, or information. And content is what fuels search engine results page. So make sure that you put the World Wide Web to work and publish that content. The more you author your expertise, the more you become an authority. And in the word authority is the word author. And it's like compounding interest. The more content you create, the more it builds. You have website statistics that help track and show what content's working and polling for you. And what you can do is you can use the power of the web to understand what works. You create your ideas, you execute them, and then you monitor them, and then you rinse repeat. It's a never-ending process. Web marketing is part of our overall marketing lifestyle. Healthy marketing does equal wealthy organizations. And by learning and taking the time to put smart web marketing strategy to work, you will continue to invest, and not just spend, but invest in your marketing success. On behalf of the Scheinfeld Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation, I'm Lori Thomas, CEO of Web Marketing Therapy, and I encourage you to continue learning and roll up your sleeves and put web marketing to work. We're adults. We learn by doing. Let's get started.